morning everybody, Lisa here with you today. I hope that you are well. Today we're going to be doing some watercolouring and creating this clean and simple card. I'm going to be watercolouring with Distress Inks in rainbow order and I'm going to be using the newly released Good Vibe set which is this set here, three beautiful floral images and lots of lovely sentiments to go along with them. So we're going to start off by stamping our images and as we're watercolouring I'm using some Tim Holtz Distress Watercolour cardstock. This is a really uh, lovely cardstock, quite bright and white, has two different textures, you've got the smooth side and the textured side. For my watercolouring today I'm going to use the smooth side, just my preference, nothing wrong, it would work the same on the textured side, you just get a slightly different look. So lining up my images here and doing my best to make sure they're central, I am eyeballing it and just fiddling around a little bit to make sure that they look okay. Because we're watercolouring, I'm going to use a watercolour friendly ink and I'm using Versafine Clair Nocturne, which is a black pigment ink. Now I could just stamp the images down and watercolour over them, but I'm going to heat emboss them with clear embossing powder just to give a little bit more interest on this clean and simple card. You will get a slightly raised image when you add the embossing powder so that's what I was going for today and I will double stamp the images before I apply the powder just to make sure that I've got a really crisp um, clean impression. So I'm just applying my clear embossing powder here and I do apply it twice just to make sure that I've got really good coverage over those images and then I'm going to take it away and heat set it with my heat gun ready to do the colouring. So I've taped my panel down here with some low tack tape, I've got a pot of water ready and I've got my first three distress inks. So I've got candied apple, worn lipstick and dried marigold and I'm just smushing a little bit of each off to the side there and those are the three colours that I'm going to use on my first flower on the left. I'm primarily doing a wet on wet technique for this panel. That just means that I apply my water first to my cardstock and then I drop my colour in. So I'm adding some clear water down on the bottom of that left image and I'm now just going to drop in a little bit of candied apple and just watch that move until I'm happy with how that's looking. So I clean off my brush here and I'm now going in with the worn lipstick and it wasn't really moving properly so I just added a little bit more water to it just to get it moving a bit better and it won't matter if it moves into the candied apple as I'm going in rainbow order all of these colours are really going to work well together and they will blend well. So going in now with the dried marigold, I love the way this blends with worn lipstick. It's a combination that I use often when I'm watercolouring or also when I'm blending. So just adding a little bit more ink down onto the uh, palette at the side and I'm adding some squeezed lemonade and mowed lawn as well. For the middle image here, I'm actually going to start off with dried marigold. So my colour, my last colour on the first image, I thought that that would make the rainbow colours flow really well across the panel. So each time I start a new flower, I start it with the final colour from the previous one. So here I'm just adding in some dried marigold, squeezed lemonade and mowed lawn. And I'm adding water just to sort of blend it out a little bit in the mowed lawn and uh, kept on sort of adding ink until I was happy with the saturation before I moved on to the final flower. 
Onto my palette at the side, I've added some Salty Ocean and Villainous Potion. So my final flower will consist of the Mowed Lawn, the Blue and the Purple. So just going through the same process as I did on the previous flowers, adding water and ink until I'm happy with how that looks. I felt that the Salty Ocean got lost a little bit there, so I added some more in and uh, just blended everything out. And that brings us to the end of the watercolour and I thought that the images looked a little bit static or the colour looked a bit static so I've just taken a spray here and I'm just going to spritz that over and just get the colour moving a little bit more. Not so much that they would run into each other but just enough so that they would move a bit more. And now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of shimmer using Perfect Pearls in the Perfect Pearl colour. So I just put some of the powder down onto my glass mat and I'm mixing it in with some water to get it moving. I'm using a number two round brush here which is what I used for the water colouring. So the splatters are going to be really really small and I just sort of felt that it wasn't giving me enough splatter so I add some more of the powder down, remix it again, make it a bit more wet and then I re-splatter the panel. Perfect Pearls have been around for years as many of you will know. I think it's such a great way of adding a little bit of shimmer to a panel. So I'm just going to tip it into the light here. It's really hard for you to see on camera as it's bright here today but it's really pretty in real life and it just sort of adds more interest to that background. I'm going to trim my panel down a little bit now. So I've taken a rectangle die. I'm just taping that down with some low tack tape and I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. I'm going to be adding my panel onto a neutral grey card base. I really like the look of rainbow colours against a neutral base. So I've just cut that down. I've now added some foam tape onto the back and I'm going to adhere that down onto the grey card base that I've got at the side there. So just removing the backing off the foam tape and a little trick here that I've picked up from other crafters is to add some wet adhesive, I'm using Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive here, over your foam tape and that's going to mean that when you put that down onto your panel you can wiggle it around a bit just to make sure that it's perfectly centred. Off camera I took one of the sentiments from the Good Vibes set, there's lots of lovely ones to choose from. I white heat embossed it onto some black cardstock and I'm just adding that down now over the panel, checking to make sure that it's on straight. And of course no card is complete without some gems and today I thought I would use the ivory opal gems to finish the card off. I thought that they would pick up the colour or the splatter of the perfect pearls and they're really pretty these gems. They come in lots of different sizes so I'm just adding these around the sentiment and around the flowers just to finish the card off. And that brings us to the end of today's card. So I hope that you enjoyed watching. All the supplies are in the description box below. Uh, do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will be back again with another video for you next week. In the meantime, I hope that you have a wonderful day.